Hey guys, how's it going? Chad here. And Angie. And uh and today yep. we're angry. At each other. Yeah. We <laughs> Then we laugh together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we ruined it. We were gonna, you know, do this whole thing. We were pretending we're so mad at each other because today's topic is top five games that ruin friendships and relationships. Yeah, and you guys always ask us if we ever fight, and if so, what do we fight about? Usually it's about <laughs> video games. <laughs> Goldeneye. Yes, the N64 version. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, I, there was like the split screen and people could look at your screen when you're playing. Yeah, you stop like looking at my screen. <laughs> for you guys, for the younger children who don't know how this works, it used it was a multiplayer that split the screen in four and each person had their, you know, game going on in their little corner. Well, sometimes you couldn't help but just notice by the color or texture of somebody else's screen where they were, <laughs> so you'd go hunt them down. And there was Odd Job, who was like the <laughs> short character. So it like completely like how could you even? You I know? almost forgot about that. We had a guy who was Odd Job all the time. Despite all that, it's easily one of my favorite games of all time. Probably still in my top three or five. Number four, the game that caused probably the biggest fight that Chad and I've ever had. Soul, Soul Calibur. Calibur! This one was over four. Soul Calibur four, but <laughs> all the way going back to two, my friend and I, he would use Voldo and he'd keep doing a stupid elbow. And I'm like, it's, Soul Calibur kind of has that where you can spam moves. Yes. You can and, be a good player and somebody will just come along and <laughs> and you're like, Jesus! It's and annoying. I mean, it's a fighting game, so you expect, you know, kind of this get could, riled up and fight, you know? Yeah, this could almost be any fighting game here at number four, but we, I broke a controller. Yeah, yeah. I threw the controller got, yeah, very across upset. the room. Like, and I was probably sitting there like, ha ha, ha I'm winning. <laughs> Not, I don't remember that. <laughs> but what I do remember is taking a controller, Xbox 360 controller, and slamming it on the ground and breaking it, and then having to go buy a new one the, the next, next day. The next day we went and bought, yeah. A kind new of one that to shameful. Play it again, yes. Kind yeah. of that shameful trip to the store where you're like, here's $60 for this thing that I just smashed out of <laughs> rage, you know. Number three is Super, uh, new Super Mario Brothers U Which, and the Wii version. Yes, we played, you know, on our gaming channel. Oh yeah, you guys and, saw that. Yeah. Probably and, the only time a lot of you people saw me yelling F Chad's so cheery and, you know, dressing up <laughs> as, you know, Donkey Kong and dancing, but no, not this. <laughs> well, you know what? That game, you're used to playing Mario your entire life by yourself and going, okay, timing your jumps and all this, but in this game you have three other people on the screen, so you're timing your jump, and you jump, and some dumbass comes and s s hits your head, and you fall into the lava and die. Number two, Mario Kart. More Nintendo. Woo! Mario Kart <laughs> is can get infuriating. Yeah, there's just so many things that could ruin your gameplay in the game. I know. <laughs> well, for one thing, the, the blue, blue shell. shell. But you know what? I, I don't mind the blue shell, because I hate when the person in first just gets out in front and is gone. Sometimes when you are going for a jump and the lightning happens, <laughs> that makes me very angry. Especially when your friend knows, sees you oh, up ahead yeah, hitting yeah, the jump. Oh yeah, you can see and you're like, oh yeah, they're going for a jump. Lightning, right there. <laughs> and then worse is when you get hit by something and everybody has to plow through oh, and knock yes. you over and over. There should be an immune period <laughs> so people can't just keep going by and knocking into you so you can't even get going in the race. <laughs> and then you're in last place and you get a green shell. All right, and the number one worst game for ruining friendships of all time is another Nintendo That's right. game. You think from the company that is all about family-friendly stuff, they wouldn't create these games that make you want to stab your friends. <laughs> Mario Party is easily the worst of all time. It's known to ruin friendships. Like, if you're not playing it right unless you, like, get in a yeah, fight with Yeah, unless your you punch yeah. a friend. <laughs> <laughs> in real life. It's basically based around stealing items from people. <laughs> yeah, like, I know. I mean, and you just get mad. It's you like- You get so angry. It's definitely not a party. I know. Yeah. Just rename that game to Mario Kill Your Friends. Yeah, Mario Fight. <laughs> so that's uh, our list. That's just our list. That's just our personal <laughs> uh, worst games that ruin friendships. But uh, let us know in the comments no, below. No, I mean, they're fun. <laughs> what you guys think. Those are fun games. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it guys, be sure to hit the like button. Yeah. And subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.